Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of Strat India. Today topic of discussion is how the upcoming Indian LCA MK2 fighter being developed in line with the Gripen A fighter of Sweden. LCA Tejas MK2 being built by India is a medium weight category fighter with maximum takeoff weight of 17.5 ton and 6.5 ton external stores. This will replace the existing fleet of MiG-29, Jaguars and Mirage 2000 of Indian Air Force. The LCA Tejas MK2 being built by India is a medium weight category fighter with maximum takeoff weight of 17.5 ton and 6.5 ton external stores. This will replace the existing fleet of MiG-29, Jaguars and Mirage 2000 of Indian Air Force. The Tejas MK2 uses the GE-414 turbofan engine which can generate maximum 98 kN thrust with super cruising capability and for deck control. The aircraft as designed considering GE's F-414 will be replaced once an Indian power plant is available. Tejas MK2 will sport our integrated electronic warfare suite with radar warning receiver and ESM antenna placed strategically to provide 360 degree coverage to the aircraft and it will be superior to Spectra AW suite in Rifall jets. The Tejas MK2 ESM pods can remain electronically silent, detect and analyze radar transmissions beyond the radar detection range whereas ECM pods will try to trick or deceive radar or other detection systems and creates a jamming environment. The Tejas MK2 will sport dual-color missile approach warning system operates in the mid-IR band for identifying the approaching missiles of all types. The system is developed by DRDO and already deployed in light combat helicopters. The MAWS consists of six dual-color IR sensors installed on the aircraft, which samples the space in accordance with the defined spatial coverage and integrated with advanced processor running state-of-the-art tracking algorithms. To declare the oncoming missile threat and to discriminate efficiently between sunlight reflections and the radiation from the missile. The Tejas MK2 will also feature LRDE developed Uttam AESA radar with 950 TR modules which will operate in air-to-air, air-to-ground and air-to-sea mode. The radar is based on gallium arsenide, latter to be replaced with gallium nitride technology. India is developing AIRST pod for passive detection of stealth fighters which will be incorporated into the Tejas MK2 fighter. It will be superior to OLS-30, the IRST port deployed in Su-30 MKI. Tejas MK2 will also incorporate the sensor fusion architecture, where the input from various sensors like radar, IRST, AW suite will be fed into a central acquisition computer and a total situational awareness will be fed to the pilot display. The Tejas Mark II will also have a night vision goggles compatible glass cockpit dominated by a touch sensitive wide area display placed in panoramic orientation and a wide angle holographic head up display system. The Tejas MK2 will be able to operate in network centric environment, sharing information among the fighters through a secure communication data link. It will act as an omni-role aircraft carrying out air-to-air and air-to-ground role in a mission. Feel free to share your views on comments box. If you liked this video, please share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more of these videos. With this I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends.